Rule number one for surviving zombie land, cardio. When the virus struck, for obvious reasons, the first ones to go were the fatties. Poor fat bastard. But as the infection spread and the chaos grew, it wasn't enough to just be fast on your feet. You had to get a gun and learn how to use it. Which leads me to my second rule, the double tap. In those moments when you're not sure the undead are really dead dead, don't get all stingy with your bullets. I mean, one more clean shot to the head. And this lady could have avoided becoming a human Happy Meal. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. As zombies began to outnumber humans, well, that's when you had to cut all emotional ties. If the girls in your neighborhood are now fucked up little monsters, well, maybe it's time to stop driving carpool. You had to focus on your own survival, which leads to rule number four. Pretty basic. in your seatbelts. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. Another rule to surviving zombie land, travel light. And I don't mean just luggage. I've always been kind of a loner. I avoided other people like they were zombies even before they were zombies. I'm doing stuff, Lori. Thanks. Now that they are all zombies, I kind of miss people. Yeah. What are you looking for? Nothing, I just, uh, I have this list. You gotta enjoy the little things. <laughs> I hate to give credit to anyone who looks like Yosemite <laughs> Sam, but I'm writing it down. Rule number 32, enjoy the little things. I really, really want to impress Wichita. But it would be in direct violation of rule 17. Maybe the most important rule of all. Don't be a hero. Why don't you take this one? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> <laughs> 